Today we're talking about air gaps. So if you increase the distance between the patient and between the image receptor, what's the effect gonna be on x-ray scatter? Is x-ray scatter gonna go up or is it gonna go down as you increase the distance between the patient and the image receptor or add what you call an air gap in the system? Check out this video, find out. Remember, in general, X-ray scatter degraded image quality leads to an overall haze added in the background of the image quality. So the question is, how does an air gap affect the quality of an X-ray image? So in terms of the X-ray scatter, which we're just going to talk about today, if we think about the reference case, here's a reference case where we have both primary events, and then we have, those are shown in green, and we have this green photon coming in and then being scattered off to the secondary event shown in red. We have a green photon and then another event shown in red here. And this is the reference case. So then what happens if we, if all we change is we move the detector back further away by adding essentially what we call an air gap. The air gap means there's a bigger distance between the patient and the detector. So we're measuring the same anatomy, but we're just using more of the detector to measure that anatomy. So what's gonna happen, those primary photons are gonna come through in a similar manner, but then these scatter events some of the scatter will still be incident on the detector, but some of the scatter will actually now fall off of the detector because we've now moved the detector further away. So in general, the primary takeaway for today is increased air gap leads to reduced scatter and a decreased air gap leads to increased scatter. Again, this has been Brian Nett with HowRadiologyWorks.com. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite or least favorite part about x-ray scatter is. And head on over to HowRadiologyWorks.com backslash scatter and download your free one-page PDF cheat sheet about the directionality for scatter with all the given technical parameters that we're going through in these videos. Thanks.